Bonjour, c'est Christine. My YouTube channel is Belle Poupée 61. And I'm here to share you, uh, with you a couple of projects that I did with the wonderful products that Editory has in our boutique, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. Uh, we have other two other sisters group uh, that um, we can post. And I urge you to go because she puts out uh, very nice kits and she does her best for the pricing and uh, the delivery uh, time, of course. And uh, go see her, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. Just ask for a friend request and uh, we'll do the rest. So as promised, I made a little mini to match my box. It's not quite finished yet. Uh, I'm just kind of uh, in the block with this <laughs> and I use uh, some of the um, I think this is Webster's page bloomers uh, that I had in my stash let me see if I'm on frame here yes I am and of course while I get crafts the buds here and uh, I like to use um, on my flowers um stickles i like the one that stardust it looks like uh, more silver and i like to use the diamond one it's more like goldish uh, shimmer to it so i use the same paper that uh, the fairy paper that we had that match uh, my um, my box and of course while look at craft and um, these are um, Prima flowers petal and I cut out the butterfly here uh, and I glossy accent it. So I give you just a little quick tour and I stamped it on the back and of course I use my um, bind it all to bind it. I'm not very good yet with this and I put my bed be. And I found uh, a ribbon uh, on my in my stash that I bought at the dollar store a couple of years ago. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour here and uh, because I'm not finished I um, don't like to finish all the mini albums with all the embellishment because I want to put pictures and tags and to decorate them. So I haven't done any tags yet. So I used the uh, tutorial of uh, Donna, Madonna Craft. I'll put her link below. Uh, these are uh, paper bags that she opened and we have um, she has different configuration on it so I use the remain of the paper of the kit that we received so you can sip a tag here sip a tag there and kind of make a little curtain here sip a tag here and of course there's the pocket of the paper bag hang on a second here you go and everything I distress with uh, gather twig from uh, the most of course and as you can tell I always put my little sponge on the back like that so I don't lose it and here we go another tag here and so it's go on look I said it's very plain I don't like to embellish it too much uh, actually, I will probably put some more flowers in thing uh, that Edith sent that I bought from Edith. This is Wild Orchid Craft. I store my flowers in plastic bins like this because it's free <laughs> and it's easy. You look through it and uh, you know what you have. And here it is. I made a pocket for the back. And here you go. This is the project that I, uh, mini album that I made to match my um, my cigar box that I did for my uh, May project. And I tied it up with the bow like this. Next project, I did um, follow the tutorial of my sister scrapper, my favorite scrapper, I guess. <laughs> And um, for my stash, I uh, had this little paper here. Uh, where is it? Here, here we go. My this is a mask. Uh, it's from Echo Park for the second record too. I I bought it a while back, and uh, this is 
a flower that my friend Tammy made and she sent it to me and of course I put some wild orchid craft and uh, and uh, of course a, a leaf let me see if I'm on frame here yes I am and here this little bicycle that I had from a previous kit uh, that I just stained with uh, faded jean no excuse me broken china from uh, Tim Holtz so I put some magnet and you open it. it's um uh, how do you call it a flip album side by side I follow her tutorial she's very very um, good and I'll try to be in frame here so I just started to put some of the uh, chipboard that I had and I'm starting to decorate it here and there and uh, of course it's a pocket with the tag so here it goes I'm just going to flip through slowly well a bit rapidly <laughs> favorite thing number one number oh you know, favorite number one thing so every pocket has a tag in it and of course here I started to do a little waterfall like a little booklet with a magnet I'm going to cover the magnet with the remains of this paper which I barely have any I thought I would have any from uh, 6x6 but I did not uh, have enough paper and I took some of uh, another kind of paper from Eco Park so it was the same color uh, which is this one so here it is same tags that you put in and I had some bling in my stash so I thought well, I'll bring this one so like I said I don't decorate much my mini album unless until I have my pictures in and I have the idea what to do with it so I did the same process that I did and of course I cover my uh, my magnet you are my favorite the rest of the story and I put the camera here and I love this paper it's really nice and I love your tutorial so easy to follow here you go and here I made a little waterfall and just two so you can write here and put a picture if you want uh, you know tickets uh, souvenir anything you you would like so you close it like this there you go. Like I said, I'll put the tutorial on um, on a, a link below, and you close it. And of course, on the back and the bind, uh, the spine. This is what I did. And of course, I distressed everything with uh, black soot for this one. I have another little project that I want to show you. Uh, a couple of months ago, the kit came with dominoes and I never knew what to do with it I hope I am in frame let me see yes I am um, I altered it I follow a tutorial that I will post the link below again and uh, what I did I covered the domino with the cover the picture cover of what we had the fairy rhyme so I cut two fairy from here and I covered it with um, glossy accent and I put some uh, fairy dust that I had it's hang on a second excuse me if my head is in the way uh, I had this for a while embossing powder and I bought it in a local craft store here and I when the glossy accent was on uh, wet I sprinkled it a bit on it the both side I don't know if you see it and of course this is Robin Buff it was the first time I used my Robin Buff yes I love it so I'm um, probably I'm going to ask my husband to do a little hole and I'm going to put a little eyelet because I want it to dangle from my mini album that I did and of course this is my bottle <laughs> I don't know what to do with it yet uh, we're the 24th I still have a week uh, I have some uh, idea so it's going to be fun I want to do a fun things and of course all the album that the mini album I'm going to do I'm going to decorate with well a craft from the store and yesterday I was overzealous I did another one 
and uh, this one is a paper from my stash and I started to decorate it it's um, from Prima it's called Nature Garden Collection and of course I'm going to decorate with uh, Edith uh, beautiful wild orchid craft that she has available on her uh, site so it's about it if you want to see a bit of tour of my messy desk uh, I'm going to show you there you go this is <laughs> my desk and I everybody is crazy about milk glass but I like the pinwheel um, glass uh, uh, here I like the, the pinwheel model I like all glass so I've been buying glass jars and um, and all kind of oops sorry all kind of uh, glass container to contain my stuff <laughs> I have here a big big um, plate like I said my desk is a mess because I've been working I usually am not that messy um, there you go I bought uh, this it's a giant plate I put my lamp and uh, there you go this is my working area and uh, my inspiration um, cork board and I have my my thing and this is the top I have one milk glass a couple of milk glass and I use one glasses for my prima flowers I have my little personal cricket that Tammy gave me and music and my laser printer so this is the tour of my my working area I have here my daughters I was the project for uh, February and I have this wonderful sign that my best friend Tammy made for me as a surprise and of course my shelf from Ikea that I put all excuse me the the tripod doesn't go well uh, all my project on top so this is where I work um, Ikea <laughs> it's the best thing um, it's not expensive it's well done and it's clean line so I like antique but uh, this serves me well so j'espère que vous avez aimé mon vidéo et uh, à la prochaine merci beaucoup bonne journée